Hello everyone, Hapclive just released a video a few days ago about their exciting new gadget just in time for DEF CON and it is the Hack 5 Wi-Fi Pineapple Pager. Let's check it out. Nice. Okay, so if you don't, if you miss it, there's a pineapple. So with the, the usual Wi-Fi pineapple functionality, the, the, the firmware in it, there's an alert, meaning it would be like a Ponico cheating maybe, that if it's capturing hand, handshake while, while you're walking around, there will be some sort of, of an alert, and there's a payload. Payload maybe, this has a docky script functionality in it also who knows or like the bash bunny functionality that would be really really nice okay so this one looks weird uh, let, let's as you can see the led lights <laughs> on the control this should indicate that this is down up right and left which is not the usual but yeah maybe this is when uh, under testing this would be intuitive is this a speaker or a a mic input but you have a USB A USB C too I'm not really sure for this one maybe you can put a I don't know <laughs> because I was thinking about a Wi-Fi adapter, but this already works as a Wi-Fi uh, for, for Wi-Fi hacking. Why, why did it need one? Maybe for signal boosting? Oh, and it is a high-risk color. So meaning what, what we see here, this is how it will actually look like. I hope. <laughs> yeah, let's see. See, real-time Wi-Fi alerts, like like what I told you, um, like the Ponagotchi one, this, this is how it will be. In hardware mods, meaning there's some sort of extensibility with it. Just like the modules that I've shown in the previous video, maybe you can put NRF in here, maybe you can put like RF modules in here, or... Maybe Laura. Maybe oh, this would be a very nice, very very nice mesh plastic device. Oh, and this is a surprise. This is a tri-band Wi-Fi, meaning it all not only just supports 2.4 it supports 5 gigahertz and 6 gigahertz including bluetooth by the way but yeah you, you could hack 5 and 6 gigahertz yet right for for all of you out there just comment down below if you can now the bluetooth makes it a really really good partner for a mesh plastic device i hope someone develops it Oh, see? See, I told you I'm correct. So, th it is a tacky script powered payload thing. I hope it functions like a Wi Fi, uh, a rubber ducky, and a bash bunny because it's Linux based, it says here. Oh. Damn, I love it. I love this color. So you see, oh, it's like a banana color. What I would lo love more uh, if they have this red color or like the Kista color, which is like, so you can see red and what color is it? Yeah, ba the baby green one. That would, that would be nice. And I hope there's like a TPU case for it. So, I mean, you, you can mismatch the colors that, that you want.
I'm Darren Kitchen, and as we celebrate 20 years of Hack 5... Damn, it's already been 20 years! Oh, I'm so old. I remember seeing their gadgets back when I was in college. Just... It just blows my mind. You, you can, like, listen to keyboards. You can, like, do keyboard things using a USB with a rubber ducky. Oh, mind blown when, when I used to see those and demonstrate it. And that was, like, in the 2000s. I'm excited to announce a Wi-Fi pineapple pager. <laughs> We've been working on this for years. Dreaming it up for longer. I'm so excited to finally share this with you. Uh yeah. Um I'm not really sure that the last time the the last device that they have what you call it release was the Wi Fi coconut. I'm that is something that I find few few test use cases that I can use here at least in the Philippines. This one I really, really like. We rebuilt the engine. We've optimized kernel filters, we've replaced SQL. I know this is gonna sound crazy, it's like literally a million times faster. And of course that's gonna to come to the other pineapples, but that's not even the coolest part. You see, the pager runs payloads. It yeah, see? Oh, and th this one is nice because if you have a rubber ducky, you can only have one script there, you can just program it. The use case really, really bad. This one, you know, you have like the uh, things like in a card computer, you can run scripts and things, or like on the USB army knife, and where you can run script remotely. This one is really finally they they are catching catching up on having multiple scripts and in, in, in a device, you can just run those payloads on demand. It's built on Linux. It's got your favorite tools. It's got Bash and Ducky Script, and it makes hacking. And it has bash too, so like, like I told you, you have a Wi-Fi pineapple, you have a rubber ducky, and you have a bash bunny, all in one device. It's a, oh, I'm so excited with it. Fun. I think hacking should be fun. See, this is why I became a hacker. Hacking should be fun. Finding unconventional things oh, and making them work, you know, like people have this certain train of thought or like trying to think something. If you're a hacker, you try to break those type of things. Sometimes work, sometimes not. But when you finally do that, oh, that's the best feeling. I don't know about you, but I love the things that are inspired and celebrate hacker culture. You know, war games, uh, Mr. Robot, Watch Dogs. Hell, even some that feature Hack 5 gear, which blows my mind to this day. For me, my favorite is hackers. It's Damn, I can't believe they forgot Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley, no. And they're discussing Wi-Fi Pineapple. There's this convention, they want to hack the APK that will be installed in each of the cell phone devices. What they did is man in the middle. They use the Wi-Fi pineapple to change the website, download their own so that people will download their own APK during the convention. And they, that just destroys the whole presentation, the whole show. And there's like certain number of nerds also sweeping the floor area for trying to find the uh, Wi-Fi pineapples that they um, hide. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, why would you forget that? It's the classic from 1995 that was all about rollerblades and neon pagers, and I cannot believe that 30 years later, I'm introducing a pineapple. Okay, so for me, the most influential hacking movie is... The one with the fish at the end, oh, I forgot, it's not sailfish, but it's with Wolverine and Storm, <laughs> Halle Berry and, oh, I forgot Wolverine's name, but it's where they created a program, a worm, that would deposit all of those rounding error 
of different types of accounts and they will deposit it it will deposit it to a certain account and it's just for billions after how oh. that's that to me is the more influential hacking movie at least for me celebrating that era the color screen the 2.4 5 and 6 gigahertz the the bluetooth the ringtones and buzzer and rgb led buttons they all bring your payloads to life and when the wi-fi airspace gets interesting your pager is going to be popping off like your crush blowing up your pager in the 90s oh so this one is from the hacker too oh the, the, this was the inspiration that they have it's really nice but today it's payloads and the pager is always at the ready. No need for a laptop. You can just manipulate Wi-Fi from your hands in high resolution. So with that, I am officially announcing the Wi-Fi Pineapple oh. pager. I, I think you're going to find it so much fun to use. And it's available for pre-order now. Come and see it at DEF CON or hack5.org. The first batch is ready. And your pre-order is going to guarantee that you'll have one in hands when this launches later this year. Thank you. Oh, I this is nice. At least it will launch next year. 20 years ago because I wanted a way to give back to the community. That I mean, at least it will launch by late this year. At least I, I hope I can get my hands on it. It was there for me as a phone freak kid. And our community is amazing. Uh, not by accident, but because we all make it welcoming. We make it a place where all hackers belong. So thank you for 20 years. Yeah, thank you very much too. Oh, the tools that they have was so advanced during those times. I'm glad that they have a very new project on it. The last time I got excited with their project was the OMG cable. So that, that was the last time. I even overpaid for it because you know I cannot buy on their website. I have to buy it somewhere someplace else. But yeah, I mean, thank you too. Thank you for bringing this mainstream. And trust your techno lust. Yeah. Okay, so let's check the let's check the page for the. And as you can see, the founders edition has already been sold out. Oh, I want it. And the only the autograph edition uh, is there. It's okay. So yeah, it's the serialized coin up to 1000. So that's why it's already sold out. Limited edition, guarantee one hand. Okay. So yeah, it, collector's release. I, I'm not really sure what's this limited edition print featuring generations of Wi Fi pineapple art. Is it a custom screen or I don't know. But yeah, it's really nice. Okay, so yeah, like like I've said, this is a tri band. This is a really big battery for it, two thousand milliampers. And yeah, as you can see the 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 screen here is really really crisp, that's nice. Four gigabyte and two fifty six RAM. Okay, so it's not like a mini PC type of thing, like a cell phone where you can run Kali Net Hunter. So, but <laughs> I'm correct. There's a buzzer and a vibration thing here. So, like an actual pager when when you maybe when you capture different types of handshake, uh, it will vibrate. Yeah, it is one thousand one hundred. Times faster, hook AP, man in the middle, the odds, all of this. OSINT is really... Okay, so yeah, it's really interesting. Maybe just like the OSINT device of the previous Wi-Fi Pineapp, that's what's in here. And the live dashboard. Oh, this is really interesting. How it will look like in this um, mini device because on the on the wi-fi pineapple the dashboard is really really big because it's on the browser i'm not sure how it will look like or how they design it on a small device like this okay so there's it yeah DocuScript script bash 
backed by Linux and like I told you um you have a Wi-Fi pineapple you have a rubber ducky and you have a bash penny all in one device all at the price of a Wi-Fi pineapple to be honest hardware yep with access to Linux space this is nice Audio Aptix. Oh, USB C Ethernet. So you can. Okay. You can use that. And the USB is for the custom mods. Okay, so that is the USB A. Because I was trying to take a look at where the custom mods would go. So this is where. Okay. So these are the, all the information above. Yeah, it doesn't have a web interface. It doesn't have a cloud C. D-pad, connectivity. Oh, 580. So it is double the speed or the processing power of an ESP32 S3. Okay. When is shipping? Unlike the Wi-Fi pineapple. Okay, is this runs Linux. So yeah, th this is what I'm saying. That's why it's a lot more better. This is like a um actual mini computer inside rather than like a microcontroller firmware there. Powered by pay payment payload. So that's really nice. Okay. Yeah, so they, they're just saying that. So this one, let's see. It runs payload within bash and docker script. Hands free event via attack. So this, those are just different things. This is how I'm just. Oh, wait, let's do so. There's no SM. There will be an LTM mod in the future, so that's okay. But this one, like, like I told you. Those uh, when they are discussing um, modules expandability, they are already thinking of it. Mesh tastic. This will be a really really nice mesh tastic device. <sighs> you know what? I really really love this. I really love to get my hands on it. Unfortunately, for me, Hack Five doesn't ship. To Philippines, and the only way that I could get hack five things is through love 401. Okay, so this one, which is based in Europe, this one ships to the Philippines, and this is where I get my hack five products. They are an official distributor of it, and I am hoping that by the time it released later this year, they would already have this. As you can see. Most of their more popular items sometimes get sold, uh, or it's really hard. They don't know when the items will be restocked. So I hope I could get my hands onto it. It's really, it's around, let's see. Yeah, it's around $300. But if you're going to think that you'll have a Wi-Fi pineapple, you'll have functionality, you'll have a rubber ducky functionality, and you have a bash money functionality. That is a no-brainer for it. And, and this um, packable size, what's not to like? Okay, so there you have it. <sighs> it is a really neat device, and I hope I could get my hands on it, and if I get my hands on it, you will be the first one to know. So... Thank you. By the way, keep on hacking my fellow hockey stuff.